So I just wanted to quickly show my finished product for this particular project. Uh, this is, again, my 3D printed key holder. You can see the front and the back there. It has some different designs on it. Um, have some way you can access the keys. And with the small keys, it doesn't work quite as well, so I might go back and redesign that a little bit. Um, again, there's a lot of variation here for you as a student to go through and make this your own thing. Uh, you can kind of see, I'm trying to get the light just right, that is the 0 .025 um, extrusion to get all the detail on there. So it's not a lot, it's just enough to where you can make something visible and you can kind of feel it, but it's, it's not going to stick way up off of your uh, products. You also want to make sure that you are having these nuts fit in snugly. Uh, you want this to act like a threaded insert. So I actually test fit these. You can kind of see there's a, a one hole, two hole, and three hole nut on here. The smallest one, the number one, is the, the smallest size hexagon that I use. This is the largest size hexagon. And since they all fit with all three, I just went with the, the smallest one to sm snug them all in there. And that's with using pliers and a vise to try and press them in place. It would be really nice if we had an arbor press, but that is not the case, so we can make do with other tools. You want to make sure you have some kind of a backing on there so these don't pull all the way through. And that would make this completely useless if you went to tighten it down and it just fell apart on you. So keep that into consideration as well. And on the front side, here where these little screws go, uh, you want to make sure those are sat down far far enough in there that you can't feel them uh, when you move your hand over them. So those are counterboard in as well. Uh, so this, like I said, this is the final project. I'm pretty happy with it. I think it looks pretty cool. And uh, that's it. Enjoy.